Hello guys, the Fantastic Zee here today, and I'm starting a new series, um, called Game Analyzation, uh, Roblox, I guess. Um, I might do other game analyzations, but for now, I'll just do Roblox games. So today, I'm gonna start a series with a blast, Super Bomb Survival. As you know, the game is by Polyhex. He has made a few other games in the past, but Super Bomb Survival is one of his most famous game. And today we are going to be playing this game and reviewing it. So, but I have played this game many times before, so it will probably just be gameplay and then me talking over it and all that. You know, how analyzation videos usually go. So, Super Bomb Survival was a game made by Polyhex that came around in June 30th, 2014, and it has been a neat game for its time. With many features that quite a few games have, though in Roblox it wasn't that common seeing them, such as skills and perks and many other things. I guess um, and they did have a big update today, so I guess we'll also be checking that out too. So I guess I have a few more things now. But personally, my favorite ones have always been um, the super jump, and uh, my favorite perk per perk have always been the big saver which means collecting coins gives you health. I also love the difficulty threshold. And most of the things are pretty neat, like the decoration is good. It definitely isn't bad. It w and it is still good even for its time that it was made. What really stands out to me though is uh, the style of everything. It's just loose, it isn't like um, tight art I guess you can say. It's more of like this, I don't know how to explain it really. It's like strict but loose at the same time, <laughs> I guess. I'm not sure. Alright, but we are gonna get into a round. I have 33 wins, not that much. As you can say, I don't really play that often. But what really makes this game special is the variety. The bombs are the real deal. And the way they put it, the many types of bombs he added just makes the game stand out a lot more, rather than just a simple bomb that just explodes. And that's it, okay. And each bomb can even have a unique thing that does do, like example confuse you, which is basically just re reversing the controls. And then there's even bombs that follow you. A thunderstorm. Oh, I guess there's also a new... I guess this is what the new update is. Oh, man. Okay, that's dangerous, but... Whoa, okay, I see. That's pretty cool, actually. Th this new lightning thing. And also, even bombs can change the entire properties of what blocks do to you. And how they affect the player itself. And you know, there's uh, many types of bombs that are actually in here. And then all these maps are pretty well designed, to be honest. They did a really good job on these maps. Simplistic, yet uh, effective, you know. Alright, but I'm gonna get- Oh! That coin has a danger sign on it, so I'm going to assume it's dangerous if you collect it. Okay, yeah, I guess you get handed a bomb if you get that one. I'm not too sure. Alright, but that guy- Ouch! Oh, snap. Got smacked by a bomb. Alright, but yeah, you gotta be a bit careful. So as you can see, lava, it, it, it's just insta-kill, okay? So you gotta avoid that. And that's what skills are useful for. That's why I sort of like the bouncy one I'm a lot, because I can just avoid things pretty easily. Without that much trouble at all. Oh, snap. Oh man, I could've been bad. I'm not sure if this live analyzation format I'm doing is that good. But, I'm trying that out, I guess. Check mark the spot. And you know, obviously there's gonna be some, uh, cheesy achievements in games like this, which is neat. It adds more livelihood. Oh man. And a few fun things in the lobby that you can get. Oh, I can set it to nighttime. Oh, that's pretty cool. Alright, so I guess this update has a, quite a bit new features. Alright. Skills. Movement. Offense. Defense. Alright, so I guess different type of skill types, you know. 
It's time to go. Oh, snap. That was a lightning bomb, I guess? Yeah. And then I like that coin bomb. It just splatters a bunch of coins that you can get. Which is neat. Man, why am I lagging so bad? Oh. I hate this. Is there... Is, like, Roblox doing a new update thing that is, like, breaking its servers once more? If so, they really need to fix their bugs. Okay, and there's something coming down here. Not sure what this is, but I'm gonna collect it and risk it. Oh. The main event award. Okay. I see. So I guess you can collect things that give events or whatnot. Which is quite interesting. Man. Why is Roblox lagging so bad? Like, I've never had this problem. Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, snap. Oh, no. <laughs> I should have went there. Oh, is that guy a bomb? Oh, snap. Oh, man. Alright. Man, I'm in trouble here. I also like um, how there's also a hardcore server that makes everything many times harder than usual. It's just quite neat. Alright, alright. There's an event. Oh, come on. I was about to get that. Fine. You can have it. Alright, a coin right here. To heal me a little bit. Even if only a little bit. Alright, another coin. That might be a bomb. Okay, nope, it wasn't. Which is wonderful. Alright. And I have survived once more. Also... Um, if you want, you can even get some boosts and stuff, which is temporary. There's two currencies in this game, which not many games have. Usually games only have one currency, but some games have two. And then, you know, obviously there's going to be some Robux merch that you can get, like triple coins, you know, increased money, increased XP, and all that. No usual stuff, and even VIP. So this game was built around 2014, and it, it and it is still good, and it was even better in, at its time. Oh, I actually like this map a lot. I wonder who designed this map, though. I like how it has, I like how it's sort of like a mix. Ow. Man, was that like a spike bomb? Oh, whoa. My goodness. <laughs> okay. Okay, I lost there. The difficulty was 4.0. Not quite 5, but that's a pretty high um, difficulty. Alright, oh, I guess you jump to spectate, which is pretty unique in itself. You know what? I noticed something. In the lobby, a lot of this stuff is just buttons, you know? Oh, spawn as bomb head. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, you can spawn as a bomb head, so you can just blow people up. Yeah, I want to blow you up, man. Oh, I think I got him. <laughs> all right, that's that's th all right. That's pretty funny. <laughs> that's that's cool, actually. I like I like how you can become the bomb. That's props up for gameplay, because even if you lose, you can still participate in some way. Of course, it is credits though, but I do have a bunch on my hands. Oh man, that, that's this, this, this game is so unique in many ways. Alright, alright, I want to blow this guy up. Alright, alright, meddler. Alright, that, that's cool. Yeah, I like this idea of you, you becoming the bomb. It increases difficulty and it makes the game a lot funner if you lose. Which adds on the gameplay. Oh, I heard an air horn. Alright, who's... The last guy, I believe, last guy? Maybe not the last guy? I don't know, maybe everyone lost? Who knows? Alright, there's a coin, maybe I can get it. Can can bomb people collect coins? Aw, oh, that's sad. Alright. Where's that last guy, though? I want to find that last guy. Alright. Oh, well. Anyway, that's about, um... 
I guess I covered all the features this game has, maybe? I don't know, there has been a new update, so maybe not. Alright. But anyway, this game has a lot of unique things to it. Even to this day, it's still pretty unique. Alright, what's this, actually? Okay, it's a tiny bomb. You know, this game obviously goes around bombs. So there's gonna be a... Yeah, and it, and I think it revolves around buttons too, so I guess the theme in the lobby also, buttons and bombs. I guess this game has a thing with bombs and buttons. But yeah. Anyways, I guess that's about all I can do for this analyzation video. With more of a live take on analyzation, I guess, which is pretty risky. But I guess this is a good start. It's a fresh start. No, a blasting start. Next time I'll probably just, uh, okay, okay, I'm gonna collect that coin, yeah, shiny coin. But yeah, that's definitely cool, you can just become a bomb person if you, if you lose or something. Oh man, like that guy, he's gonna blow up if I'm not careful. But yeah, what really catches my eye is just how it, the, the sheer effort into making, um, the different types of bombs and, you know, everything about the game, I guess. And even the perks and the skills are unique in themselves. Like, example, how you can even push people if you wanted to or something. And how you can even have offensive things that can make you, um, that can make other people lose. I'm not sure if making other people lose can help. Like, example, um, maybe you get higher reward if you're the only survivor. Which is a pretty neat take on a phone, so then it can become player versus player. And I should have used my skill. I, I should've, okay. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> I guess that's all. Uh, I wonder what the next game I review should be. Or analyze, I guess. But this is all by my personal opinion. I'm mostly focusing on the good parts of the games. If I do find parts that I don't enjoy, I'll mention them. I mean, if you don't like parts of this game, then you don't, you don't have to um, play this just because I like it, if you know what I mean. But, anyways, this is my personal opinion on the game. I really enjoy it. I can't... I don't find anything wrong with this game. I just find it really fun. Uh, hopefully. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, though. It, it was a take on live analyzation, I guess. Next time I might do a bit of... I'm a less live. Maybe more of, like, um... Gameplay, and then I'll just... Talk over it and stuff like that. But yeah, this was my first take on analyzation. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this analyzation video, and you can comment below and tell me what you want me to analyze next. Because that would be neat. Analyze seeing what other people want me to analyze. And then maybe I can even slightly animate it and stuff like that, since I'm pretty good with animation. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good day or night, depending on where you live, and bye.